hi, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're all quarantined, social distancing right now, which means that you have just, or maybe you do have some time to just be doing random things. And for me, I was spending a lot of time on YouTube checking out different K-pop groups. And one of the groups I came across was Two. Two, T-O-O, which stands for 10 Oriented Orchestra, debuted on April 1st, 2020. Their group was formed through the survival show World Class. I didn't watch the show, but I recently realized that I did watch the freestyle rap clip from the show on YouTube. So some of the members, especially Wungi, looked very familiar to me. Anyway, I bought their debut album and that's what I'm unboxing today. This is the group's first mini album. The album is titled Reason for Being Benevolence, and there's two versions, Utopia and Dystopia. So I'm excited to see which one I got. I initially did not plan on buying their album because I can't buy too much stuff right now. I'm hashtag jobless because of COVID-19. But after listening to their album a couple of times, I just went, you know, I like every song on their album, so I might as well get the album. So I bought it. <laughs> So of course we have a poster and I'm really excited to see what the poster looks like. And for the album, I got the Utopia version and it's already so, like the cover is really pretty so I'm excited to see what's inside. Okay, so here is the poster. First thing I want to point out is I love the all white outfits. I think that's really cool. I also love just how the overall theme is white because with the scenery and then their outfits, it all like ties together and it just looks so beautiful. If I could hang this in my room, I would, but I don't think I have the wall space for posters, which is kind of sad, but this is a beautiful poster. I love it.
And the next thing, of course, the actual unboxing part of this video is the album. I want to say that the color they chose for like the base of the album to be that dark blue color is very beautiful and very pretty. That was something that immediately caught my eye once I was finally able to get it out of the bubble wrap. The cover of the album is just beautiful. I love how the ring around them is reflective, so when you move it, the light kind of shifts, and I think that's just a really cool effect. And it has that same type of thing on the sides of the album, which is really cool, because when you put it on your K-pop shelf or wherever you're going to put it, if any type of light hits it, it just has that cool effect. So the album actually comes with a lot of stuff. This is a name photo card. I guess you can think of it as like a clear photo card, but it also has like their name and their stage name and their birthday on it. This is a logo weapon. I think that's how you would pronounce it. You could also call it a patch, like one that you would put on like a jean jacket or like an iron on or sew it on type thing. This is a folding, well, it's one out of the 10 cards you would need to make the folding photo card, like, set. I find it sad that you only get one out of the 10, but it's okay. This is a framed postcard, or the postcard part of it. It has a cute picture of the boys on the front and the school symbol on the back. And then this is the frame that you would put the postcard in. And it has parts that you just pop out in the back to fold into the frame. We also have the CD, which is really cool with the reflective effect. And of course, the booklet, which has all the pictures and stuff like that. So here's the front of the booklet. It's a very simple design. And then here's the back of the booklet. And then I just decided I would just flip through to kind of show the concept photos that they took. They did it in sections where you kind of be introduced to each of the members in the group. And it was very interesting because with the names, there was like different symbols next to each of the members' names. And then here is the second set of photos that they took for the album. I honestly love the styles from both sets of pictures. I thought they were really cool. And then of course the breakdown for each of the songs, who participated in producing it, writing it, writing the lyrics, composing it, all that stuff. Now I just want to briefly talk about the music on the album because it's the reason why I bought the album and got more interested in the group. So the first track on the album is Magnolia. It's the title track and honestly, mostly it's just a bop. Like I love the song, I just love the vibe of the song. So the second song is Take It Slow. It kind of gives me a retro feel. I love the style of rap 
in the song and the vocals are very sweet if you understand what i'm saying and when it comes to the performance i love the part of the choreography where they do something that i call the heart formation dance if you know it then you know it if you don't i might link the performance in the description box below so check it out because overall it's a very cute song Don't Fear Now is the third track on the album. When I listen to Don't Fear Now, I just feel like it's summertime, I'm hanging out with my friends, there's fireworks going off in the sky, and I'm just having so much fun, and it's just all good vibes, and that's just how I feel about the song. The fourth song on the album is Everything's Gonna Be Alright. It's more of a ballad style song, and it's just very very beautiful i recommend well i recommend checking out the whole album but it's a very beautiful song the last song on the album is you can't hurry love it's a very upbeat and catchy song part of the lyrics is you can't hurry love no you'll just have to wait she said love don't come easy, but it's a game of give and take. That's the lyrics I've been stuck in my head for a while. And it just makes you want to dance and it cheers you up if you're having like a bad day. Thank you for watching this video and happy one month anniversary to two. I wish them a lot of success in the future and that they accomplish whatever goals they set for themselves. And if you are together, which is by the way, a very adorable fandom name, please comment your bias down below. Stay safe and stay healthy guys. Bye bye.